Don't try this at home. At this point, I think we've seen it all. Tesla owners recording themselves while playing games, taking naps, doing pranks, but they're generally in the driver's seat and whatever they're doing is only for a moment to capture what they hope to become a viral clip. Kind of like our thumbnail, but it did get you guys to click on this video. So continue watching because I want to tell you about Param Sharma. And I feel like by mid 2022, the backseat thing will be normal. The 25 year old Bay Area resident spent a night in jail earlier this month for pulling off this stunt and got his Tesla impounded for a year as a result. And what did he do the next morning when he got out of jail? You just bought a new Tesla. Yeah. And you're doing the same thing again. Yeah, I'm rich. I'm, I'm very rich. So I feel safer back here than I do up there. Hey guys, Kim Java here. Since this story has become such a hot topic in the Tesla community, I wanted to go ahead and bring it up here and just start a dialogue. So I first came across this article over on Teslarati by Joey Klender and it kind of resonated with me um, when it comes to autopilot and the perception that it's starting to get unfortunately just because of a handful of bad apples. So you guys already know that I have been following Tesla closely for nearly a decade now and we have been owners and proponents of the brand for almost the entire time and have been through all the various stages of autopilot development. There have been numerous highly publicized crashes over the years, and just because the car is equipped with the autopilot features, it almost always gets the blame for the crash, regardless of what the actual cause even is. There have been improvements like navigate on autopilot, where the car will literally signal for you, change lanes, and even take off-ramp exits, to restrictions like having to touch and engage the steering wheel every 10 seconds so Autopilot knows you're present and actively paying attention. But honestly, this day was inevitable, and eventually the cars were going to hit mass market. So living in this digital era, people were going to do stupid things for clicks and reactions. So what if they take your license from you? Well, Elon Musk will make a license irrelevant. If you take my Tesla away, I will get another Tesla. Yeah, that's how it works. I run Silicon Valley. What do you do? I'm a Tesla millionaire. So when it comes to autopilot, there have been hundreds and thousands of hours of work, software engineering and coding that some of the brightest people in the world have put into Tesla. There's also a multi-billion dollar race for companies like Waymo, Cruise, Mobileye and Tesla to solve what will likely be the biggest technological breakthrough in modern times. And it will significantly reduce car crashes, which happens to be the leading cause of death for people in the US ages one to 54. It's also the eighth leading cause of death worldwide, killing nearly 1.5 million each year. But before we get started, I wanted to thank the Ridge Wallet for sponsoring this video. If you've been with us long enough, you know that we are huge fans of the Ridge Wallet. These are my husband's wallets and we love them because they can hold up to 12 cards plus cash and they offer over 30 colors and styles like this carbon fiber and burnt titanium. I wanted to share this with you because Father's Day is coming up and I think that these make a great great gift. You can even try them out for 45 days and if you're not happy, send it back for a full refund. Check out ridge.com slash kimjava and enter the code kimjava and you can get 10% off. Earlier I mentioned that there has been so much work done by Tesla to create a barrier so that people are encouraged to stay engaged, like steering wheel sensors, seat sensors, and seat belt sensors, all of which must be controlled or connected by the driver when autopilot's in use. But as the saying goes, if there is a will, there is a way. And there are several companies that have created cheat systems. And we even noticed a driver at a nearby supercharger just a few weeks ago who had left his ankle weights on the steering wheel as the car was charging. The thing is, these are hazardous for a number of reasons. Namely, the lack of respect for other people and families that you're sharing the road with. I think a lot of us Tesla owners and fans are pretty confident in Autopilot's abilities or we wouldn't be engaging it in over billions of miles in the past several years. And there's pretty good reason to be confident when you look at Tesla's publicly available stats on quarterly miles driven and crashes. I'll link that below as well. In Q1 of this year, Tesla registered one accident for every 4.19 million miles driven when drivers had Autopilot engaged and those older Teslas without autopilot, but only with active safety features registered one accident every two million miles. While the latest US data shows the average driver registered one accident every 484,000 miles. 
So the data is clear that autopilot is significantly safer than the average human driver. But as someone who has driven hundreds of thousands of miles in Teslas and autopilot engaged for many of those trips, I can tell you that it needs to be used responsibly. And there have been plenty of times where your heart drops for a moment. So Tesla has never said that its vehicles can drive themselves which is characterized as level five autonomy. And every time you engage autopilot, it says you must keep your hands on the steering wheel at all times. Of course, when someone uses hacks or aftermarket parts to override these safety features, there's really not much Tesla can do without having to punish everyone else for these few bad apples. So I think law enforcement needs to be the first stop as nobody should be able to climb into the back seat of their vehicle while driving. What this article suggested and what I really feel like is the best approach in stopping this kind of behavior is that Tesla steps in and adopts some sort of list of repeat offenders who have shown to be irresponsible with autopilot and full self-driving. So we know that Tesla has a list of people who've abused supercharger use and done so for free charging and ride hailing businesses and also a list of referral winners who've lost privileges for what Tesla perceived as poor intent. Asleep at the wheel of his Tesla, it's raising more safety concerns about the vehicle. Just because if an accident happens while these so-called influencers or even average owners are taking advantage of autopilot's capabilities, Tesla and every other company working to develop level five autonomy takes a huge step backwards. And that is not what we want to do, people. So Tesla already gets the heat and criticism from the media as it is, so it won't be good for EV perception, adoption, or autonomy. Another idea for those repeat offenders would be Tesla having some sort of traffic school before they can start their car or use autopilot again. I know in the past I've had a ticket and I've had to take a really long, boring class that wasted a bunch of my time and then pass some kind of test before I could go drive again. So Tesla could do something similar. So I'm curious what you guys think of the perception of Tesla and its autopilot capabilities and maybe its safety. What have you heard from friends or colleagues about it? And what do you think can be done to stop autopilot abusers as companies try to gain trust and mass adoption for this tech? And if you don't already, please follow me on social and we can connect on there as well. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace out. Also check out our website, itskimjava.com for this brand new design. Get dad and his mini, these Tesla inspired matching tees. My new favorite is the Circle Square Cybertruck tee. Order it now to arrive for Father's Day and for a limited time enter code FATHERS20 for 20% off and thanks for your support. I first came across this article, article, why can I not talk? Over in Tesla Roddy, Tesla Roddy. Whole article kind of resonated, resonated, resonated. Now your hair is touching the mic. Okay, here. My Lord almighty, what is going on today? And it kind of, I don't like the way it's phrased that sentence. I'm gonna rephrase it. Take off ramp, pilot is significantly safer than the average humor.